we'd like to welcome you to the 35th commencement ceremony of Cactus High School for the class of 2014. Will you please rise in honor of our graduates as they enter the stadium and remain standing for the presentation of colors by our Air Force Junior ROTC cadets and the national anthem performed by members of Naya Voce.
Thank you, ROTC, and Naya Voce. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome, Cactus faculty and families of my fellow graduates. Seniors, today marks a very important milestone in our lives, the graduation of the class of 2014. We may not know where life will take us, but it's to our advantage that we courageously discover what life has to offer. As we look back at our childhood, there came a time in our lives where the impossible was possible, if we dream big enough. Our kindergarten teachers said, pick up your crayons and draw what you want to be when you grow up. The possibilities were endless because we could be anyone we wanted to be, whether it was becoming an astronaut, scuba diver, pilot, or even an ice cream man. Years later, in our senior year of high school, we asked ourselves the question once again, what do I want to be when I grow up? Majors, universities, and the salaries have suddenly become a heavy component that influences our decisions. After today, many of us will part ways and start a new journey with the career choices we have selected. But as you move on to bigger and better things, remember where your dreams started, because life is about using the whole box of crayons. Every color is significantly important and serves a unique purpose. You are your own artist, and your future depends on the masterpiece you want to create. As I stand here before you, as your outgoing student body president, I challenge you one last time to keep your dreams alive. Let the world be your canvas. Like Mark Scherenbrock said, stop counting crayons, just draw pictures. To all my classmates, pick up your crayons and get ready to create the unimaginable. Class of 2014, we made it. Good afternoon, parents, faculty, administration, and my fellow graduating seniors. My name is Matthew Chong, and I am honored to stand here as salutatorian and speak this afternoon. Cactus High School 
has been the best high school for me, and I have always been proud to be a Cactus Cobra and inherit the, tradi the tradition. The relationships I have created with fellow classmates, faculty, and administration have helped to make my high school experience amazing and incredible. I feel blessed by the people I have met, befriended, and worked with these past four years. With that said, I would like to first express my gratitude with very special people in my life, my family. My parents have been incredibly supportive in everything I have pursued and continually pushed me in the right direction until I could proceed confidently on the path towards my future and dreams. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always believing in me and for giving me the self-confidence that has allowed me to accomplish more than I ever thought I was capable of. My older sister has been my biggest supporter and my greatest role model and mentor. She spoke at this very venue on this very stage four years ago, and here I am today because of her guidance, support, and love. Thank you, Monica, for being the best sibling ever and for being you because you have inspired your little brother to always grow as an individual and have always encouraged me to soar to greater heights both intellectually and personally. I would like to now thank the wonderful staff members of Cactus High School that truly distinguish Cactus from the rest of the high schools. Mr. Bloss has been an incredible principal that allowed Cactus High School to excel to new heights. Under his leadership, Cactus High School has thrived and will continue to grow for years to come. Administration's leadership has never faltered in its excellence and they made my high school experience meaningful. I am grateful for how open-minded and willing administration was towards supporting educational efforts and extracurricular activities on campus. Faculty members on campus are incredibly supportive and will go great lengths to help any student who wants to achieve academic success. The individuals I have had the pleasure of having as teachers have all impacted my life by teaching me important lessons about the real world and by preparing me for future academic success. Teachers at Cactus High School are kind, skilled, and talented. I feel incredibly lucky to have been able to learn under their wisdom. Guidance counselors have been instrumental to the success of every graduate in attendance here today. I know that I felt fortunate to have a mentor on campus that was available often to discuss my future and to plan for success. Last but not least, Cactus High School maintenance and security were incredibly helpful to many students and were always there for all of Cactus High. Most importantly though, thank you class of 2014 for an amazing four years of high school as a Cactus Cobra. Through these past four years, we have accomplished so much as a class and I am proud of the many feats my fellow peers have accomplished, and I cannot wait to hear about all the future success that will be coming from the class of 2014. Our graduating class is full of talent, potential, and wonderful people. Many graduating seniors are headed out to different colleges, different community colleges, and different trade schools. After all, each of us has a different dream, a different ambition in life, and a different goal to pursue. Regardless of where we go after graduating from Cactus High School, remember that we all are Cactus Cobras and we have inherited the tradition. I have spent my entire high school career interpreting what our school motto's words, quote, inherit the tradition may possibly mean. As I neared the end of my high school career, I came to realize what these three words signify. Inherit the tradition to incoming students means to become a large part of the campus and to get involved in all of the activities that make Cactus High School amazing. But inherit the tradition to graduating students means to become part of the large group of talented, successful students that have gone on from Cactus High School to attain dreams, achieve goals, and succeed in living life ambitiously. For those graduates in the audience today that feel unfulfilled or that they did not reach their full potential during their four years here, take this graduation as an opportunity to reinvent yourself and start a brand new, better chapter in your life. Once we all graduate today, 
we are all starting the most important chapter in our lives that will prepare us for the success we have all been working towards. And even if you did not achieve as much as you would have liked to, you can still shine brightly and do great things in this world if you reflect and readjust your life and priorities. Never forget that even after we leave our beloved campus behind to pursue greater goals in life, that we are Cactus Cobras for the rest of our lives. And now that we are poised to graduate and enter the real world, let's show the world what we are made of and how great Cactus High is by taking everything we have learned and experienced these past four years to better ourselves continually and to keep on pursuing our dreams. Thank you, class of 2014, and congratulations on graduating. You all have been amazing, inspiring, and the absolute best friends a guy like me could have ever asked for. I am blessed to have known so many wonderful people throughout my four years here at Cactus High. Thank you so much.
class of 2014, as cliche as it sounds, we made it. It seems as if in the blink of an eye, four years have come and gone. I'd like to take this opportunity to look back on the memories we've made and the lessons we've learned along the way. First, however, on behalf of today's graduating class, I'd like to thank every friend, family, and faculty member that has stuck by us all, all along the way. Without your support and tremendous guidance, we could have never made it this far. The growth and maturation I've seen, I've seen among us is nothing short of a miracle, and it wouldn't have been possible without you. A lot has happened throughout our time at Cactus High School. There have been many unforgettable moments just in the last year. As a class, we competed for various state titles, conquered the great flood of 2013, created an abundance of fake Twitter accounts, took and retook the ACT in hopes of getting the scores we desired, dominated Powder Puff, applied for college, and of course, took plenty of selfies. Most importantly though, through all the exams, applications, and senioritis, we finished strong. At the start of our high school careers, we all admired the upperclassmen, hoping to someday be just like them. But what we may not realize is that now we are the seniors that others look up to. Whether you won a state championship or got 200 likes on Instagram, someone out there thinks you're awesome. Every lesson you've learned has shaped you into the person that you are today. As seniors, we've learned to follow the golden rules of high school in order to succeed. Number one, don't ever stop in the middle of a crowded hallway. Number two, it's only acceptable to run to lunch on Chick-fil-A days. Number three, don't be that person that slips through the door just before it closes. Number four, don't try to text in Hudson's class because it's not possible. Number five, don't go to the trainer every day for no reason. Number six, it is completely acceptable to have a breakdown when cramming all night before a test. We've all been there. Number six, it's also completely acceptable to freak out if you see a dead cockroach on the floor in the hallway. Number eight, beware of fart gas in the band hallway. Number nine, if you're Snapchatting in class, everyone can see you, and we are judging you. Number 10, if your backpack or shoes have wheels, you probably got lost on the way to Foothills. These are just a few of the many things we've learned in and out of the classroom. While some of us may never use the quadratic formula again, there are so many lessons we've been taught that will guide us in the future. These final moments we share as a class should be cherished. Like witnessing Feck's smile, you only get to experience high school once. My hope is that you all graduate high school today with no regrets, knowing that you made the most of every second and took nothing for granted. Take this time to appreciate all that has been done for you and count your blessings that you don't look the same as you did four years ago. Congratulate your peers, whether it's your best friend or a classmate you didn't take the time to know. We are all a part of the same family and we wouldn't have come this far without each other. Think back to your first day freshman year, when the scariest moments were getting lost trying to find your classes or not knowing where to sit at lunch. Even more frightening, the day you forgot your ID and had to take the walk of shame to the trailers for Pitt. Today, these things come as second nature, and we may wonder why we were ever scared in the first place. Now, as you look forward, whether you're going to college, work, or any other path, I'm sure we all feel those same nervous butterflies. What if you get lost? Who will you sit with at lunch? And what if you get in trouble? Well, take a deep breath. We've gotten through this once and we can do it again. Just like high school, there will come a day when none of that is scary anymore. Yes, life may be unknown and frightening, but we've come a long way in four years and we are ready to take on the future. To the class of 2014, may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Ray, Senior Class Treasurer, and I'm here to present to you the Senior Class gift of six new planters, along with drought-tolerant plants that will be placed all around campus.
These plants will be used to help beautify cactus. We hope that the students, staff, and all others who enter Cactus High School will be able to look at these plants and see their beauty and remember the impact that we, the class of 2014, had during our time at Cactus. On behalf of the class of 2014, we would like to thank everyone here for such an incredible senior year. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler, and thank you, class of 2014. On behalf of the student body of Cactus High School, I am honored to accept your gift of new planters and drought-friendly plants that will beautify the campus. You are leaving Cactus a better place. Congratulations, class of 2014, and thank you. Thank you, Duncan. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2014. Welcome to the last page of chapter four in the novel of your life. Now, before any of you approach me and insist that your life is not a novel, please think again. Chapter one, infancy the time in which you depended solely on your guardian. You were pampered, indulged, comforted, kissed, hugged, changed, called cutie pie. Yes, you were. Fed, spoiled, squeezed, cradled, bragged about, sung to, and loved on. Life was a pop-up book. Everything was visual and needed to be explored. Chapter two, elementary. This was a period full of firsts. Your first loose tooth, your first day of school, your first encounter with the bully, and of course, your first misspelled word on a spelling test. Scarecrow, S-C-A-R-C-R-O-W. Still haunts me to this day. Life surpassed the stage of pop-up and transformed into more of a chapter book. A chapter book with large font, big spacings, and a picture on every other page. Chapter three. Junior high. Junior high can only be represented by a pop culture magazine. Being popular and having a good reputation was as essential as breathing. This was when your body changed and you began to develop feelings for your childhood friend of the opposite gender. Soon a relationship sparked and shortly after your heart was broken. You were lost and confused and your know-it-all parents didn't intend to make anything better. <laughs> Chapter four. High school, the most recent chapter in all of our lives. The chapter in which we began to spread our wings, test the waters of independency, and develop our own thoughts and ideas. Life was like a search engine. With no limitations, we all varied in paths. Some took an academic pro approach, where B's were the new C, and honor classes were in the norm. Others focused on sports, striving for that state ring. And for the cheerleaders out there, bringing it home. The list goes on and on. Choir cooking, band business, medical, mathematics, student government, government. High school provided options and helped you determine your likes and dislikes. Then there was high school outside of the school gates. Curfews were extended, driving was permitted, and relationships were created. Prom became an option and more relationships were made. Just as we all began to feel comfortable, High school ended. And now, here we are, the last page of chapter four. In just a few moments, each and every one of us will walk across this stage, shake a few hands, be presented with a diploma, and experience that urge deep down within to take a selfie, even though we're not allowed. Notice that we will all end high school in the same way, selfie included. The last sentence that concludes chapter four in all of our novels are identical. In reality, there are 3.21 million high school seniors in the United States alone that are in the midst of writing their last sentence of chapter four. All synonymous to yours and mine. Now please do not fall under the impression that you are not unique. I am not trying to oppose your great aunt Sally's reassurance that you are indeed special, because she's right, you are. 
Despite the fact that we are all here in this completely symmetrical dome, wearing matching blue caps and gowns, and listening to a commencement speech about how the past 18 years of our, years of our lives have been relatively the same, graduation is not a ceremony of conformity, but rather a ceremony of variety. With this diploma in hand, you can now pursue any path you wish, any dream you desire, and any goal you aspire to. Whether that be joining the military or going straight into the workforce. For most of us, the next chapter in life is college. College is designed to test everything you have learned from the past four chapters of life and adds a surplus of information on top of it. In a way, college can be related to a library with no shortage of books, or with no shortage of pop-up books, chapter books, pop culture magazines, and search engines, but also encyclopedias, religious teachings, and textbooks. Lots and lots of textbooks. Learning will no longer be forced, but an, but an option, a responsibility, if you will. Take advantage of this upcoming opportunity and strive for improvement. Improve your mind, pursue knowledge, and read. Read all the time. Read as a fundamental to life, as a matter of self-respect. Now before all of you disperse into the world and begin writing chapter five of your lives, I leave you with this advice attributed to John Wesley. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. Thank you.
Good afternoon. I'm Tad Bloss, principal at Cactus High School. Again, we welcome you parents, families, cherished friends, aunts, uncles, to this year's graduation of the class of 2014. This ceremony is our 35th at Cactus High School. This afternoon, we are privileged to have with us as distinguished guests of the Peoria Unified School District Governing Board member, Mrs. Kathy Connect. Our superintendent, Dr. Denton Santarelli, K-12 Administrator, Mr. Steve Savoy, and our Chief Financial Officer, also a Cactus grad, Mr. Ken Hicks. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And now, the graduates. I'm pretty sure that's why we're here. At this time, I'd like to take great pride in recognizing outstanding scholarship among members of the Cactus High School 2014 National Honor Society. Would you please stand and be recognized? One of the highest academic and personal honors are students who have finished in the top 10% of their class. And they are designated tonight with honor cords. Their achievement is gold tassel, their mortarboards, would you, those students graduating with honors please stand? Thank you. Graduating from Cactus with high honors means a student has achieved academic standing in the top 5% of their class. I take pride in acknowledging the high honor graduates at this time who are wearing double gold cords. Would those students graduating with high honors please stand and be recognized? The highest honor graduates are those who have attained standing in the top 1% of their class. These three students are wearing both double gold cords and gold tassels. Please recognize, please join me in recognizing Andrew Sawyer, Matthew Chong, and Alexis Parker for their academic excellence. Thank you. To the graduates of the class of 2014, I thank each and every one of you on behalf of Cactus High School's faculty, staff, and administration. Your leadership and your achievement in academics, athletics, the arts, and other activities have had a lasting impact on Cactus. Your spirit, your friendship, your goodwill shall remain with us in the coming years. I know your families who have supported you and encouraged you throughout the years and your teachers 
join me in saluting you, graduates of Cactus High School, class of 2014, as you take one more step towards creating your future, please continue to give back to your community, to value your family, and to only accept the very best from yourselves. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I commend you for all of your success. I wish you well and thank you for leaving Cactus High School a better place, richer in traditions, in memories, and in achievement. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2014. I would like to invite Mrs. Connect to come up and share a few words with you at this time. Good afternoon, everybody. Many of you know that in addition to being a school board member, I also have one of these today. So, but don't worry, I'm not gonna cry because I have to get my picture taken about 200 times in a few minutes. Another thing you might not know about me is I've worked very hard in the last four years trying to popularize the international sign of the cobra. Come on guys, let's see it. The cobra. <laughs> well, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and the other beloved grown-ups that are here, can you believe it? I mean, just look at them. Your babies are 17 or 18 years old and they're graduating from high school. And they're so different from the toddlers and the grade schoolers that they once were. And you and I, we haven't aged a bit, right? <laughs> the scary thing is, is that we can't tell them what to do anymore. Well, we can, we still have a little bit of leverage, right? But really, could we ever really tell them what to do? I mean, I remember when my daughter was a freshman and I strongly suggested that she should be a swimmer, be in DECA, and do drama. So what does she do? She's a runner in student council and does visual art. So disappointing. Just kidding. Anyway, graduates, my experiences have led me to conclude that the most important quality of leadership is courage. Everyone needs courage. Each of us will need courage in a hundred ways, countless times as we navigate our way through life. You'll need courage to tell a friend no when they're steering you in the wrong direction. You'll need courage to interview for a job. You'll need courage to quit a job when, it, when it's not the job that's helping you to reach your goals. You'll need courage to reevaluate the truth and sometimes change your mind. You'll need courage to say goodbye to a relationship that doesn't let you be the wonderful person that you are. You'll need courage to do something all alone and courage to introduce yourself to somebody that you'd like to meet. I hope that you'll take the courage, have the courage to talk to people face to face, not just on Instagram and Twitter. And in the words of author Marianne Rodmacher, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. In those moments when you feel like you need a little boost in your courage, take heart and remember that each one of you is practically a superhero. You are powerful, you are cunning, you deserve respect. You are not alone. You are a cobra. <laughs> Mr. Bloss, should we graduate these young people? Yes, we should. We should. And now, Mrs. Connect, it is my honor and pride that I, as principal at Cactus High School, certify that each of these students have met the requirements 
for graduation as set forth by the State of Arizona, Peoria Unified School District. I present this class to Mrs. Connect, member of the Peoria Unified School District's governing board, Mrs. Connect. I respectfully request that you accept these graduates and that you confer diplomas on them. Okay. On behalf of the Governing Board of the Peoria Unified School District and by the, by the authority vested in me by the State of Arizona, I accept this recommendation that the Cactus High School Class of 2014 has met the requirements for graduation. Mr. Bloss, please present the graduates to receive their diplomas. Seniors, please prepare to receive your diploma. Would those seated in row one please come forward at this time. Andrea Lynn Eighty. Whitney Bennett. Cameron Tyler Boer. Lance Burrell. Bowen James Shryock. Alyssa Fisher. Amber Nicole and two. Clarissa Elena Flores. Lyric Monique Allison. Samantha Nicole Brown. Zachary William Scaife. Stephen Adam Athnil. Liliana Heidi Alulima. Megan Rebecca Ashcraft. Isaac Anthony Archuleta. Jonathan Baez. Taylor Cheyenne Anglin. Karina Baker. Michael Andrew Alcala. Byron Baldwin. Mariah Lynn Appleberg. Marissa Christine Balderas. Vincent Cho. John Michael Barbie. Olivia Connect. Dylan Belisle. Everett Whipple. Natalie Larray Barkley. Matthew Chong. Marshall Evan Burkett. Mallory Ann Bove. Evelyn Ann Brooks. Andrew Thomas Sawyer. Robert Allen Lee Sons. Karina Casey Palomino. Talika Deshay Fisher. Tyler Dean Ray. <laughs> C. 
CJ Buzz. Alexis Marie Parker. Dalton Arthur Douglas Allen. Colton Hancock. Devin Jeffrey Henry. Alexander Bergstrom. Julie Ann Hunsaker. Elizabeth Bazan. Kara Jean Maines. Dylan Bethune. Erica Michelle Petro Turnquist. Sadie Ann Benford. Catherine Mary Louise Sawyer. Vincent Michael Bourne. Jesse Ray Kakanenden. Courtney Bolander. Carly Gail Brown McHone. Anthony Borak. Luis Gerardo Campus. Stephanie Bolin. Molly Kate Burleson. Zachary Bowles. Marquise Cantrell. Mallory Colette Briscoe. Angelisa Marie Sigmund. Damian Delaney. Jared Michael Cardis. Valerie Aranda. Jeremy James Soto. Stephen Christopher Chavez. Devin William Carpenter. Alicia Nicole Carmichael. Molly Shivers. Tyler John Sipra. Isaiah Ojeda. Marissa Wolf. Eloina Elizabeth Cabrera Hardy. Chase Schaefer. Matthew Chambers. Matthew Wise. Ashley Lauren Shields. Shaylin Watson. Jason Michael Chavez. Alyssa Mildred Rolanda Carter. O'Shea Thomas. Brandon Thomas Coleman. Caitlin Marie Stark. Daisy Eileen Castiano. Janae Stewart. 
Colton David Collins. David Johnson. Rosalba Chavez Lopez. Daisy Cannon. Zachary Ty Collins. Camille Cook. Dustine Leanne Klein. Dalton Edward Cooper. Joshua Dushak. Oh. Sydney Louise Caldwell. Sophia Curell. Matthew Haas Sellers. Darian Treshawn Lavelle Edwards. Aaliyah Gabriel Cook. Lorenzo Espinoza. Joseph Daniel Swafford. Rayanen Delzer. Pearson Russell Duakuku. Jonas Devante Espinoza. Alexis Monet Thomas. Brianna Aurelia Diaz. Daniel Julian Drake. Ivan Nicholas Estrada. Jenna Nicole Crane. Sabrenda Estrada. Kenneth Dwayne Dupra. Nicholas Flores. Adrian Michelle Cullen. Leah Ann Downs. Ryan Patrick Sullivan. Anthony Vaughn. Malik Allen Diggs. Elizabeth Teresa Fascio. Brianna Christine Farmer. Duncan Fox. Talal Hassan Yusufzai. Kaylee Elizabeth Hansen. Rachel Lynn Fernandez. Michaela J. Maher. Mark Franklin. Colton David Patterson. Elizabeth Floyd. Lynette McDaniels. Jeremy Garcia. Emily Ruth Uffelman. Isabel Luisa Fuentes. Romario Gonzalez. Joshua Gath. Megan Hamblin. Nancy Galindo Lopez. Dustin Gray. Samuel Warren Albert Gallatin Smith, Jr. Jasara Harrington. Samantha Marie Gaynor. Matthew Gray.
Cade Gillis. Kennedy Hennig. Tiffany Gordon Gillum Walker. Justin Whittick. Clayton Gilman. Amanda Diane Hughes. Veronica Lucia Gonzalez. Scott Griswold. Ryan Taylor Getz. Gabriella Ingus. Michelle Good. Drew Gidry. Joshua Goins. Anastasia Irvine. Sydney Griffith. Justin Gurgis. Aaron Samuel Gonzalez. Kimberly Zazik. Joseph Allen. Chase Ryan Jones. Hunter Johnson. Tiffany Nichelle Bankos. Michael Yearsley. Terry May Delay. Julie Johnson. Samantha Jean Lewis. Andrew Hatton. James Darnell Jacobs. Leilani Judge. Emily Desiree Kurth. Gregory Connor Highwood. Devin Xavier Jones. Ethan Roy Hines. Selena Leo Lizarraga. Shanley Bina Kelly. Sargon Leonard Joseph. Justin Hahn. Camille LeBaron. Amanda Jordan King. Brian Kennedy. Jonathan Boyce Howell. Jasmine LeBaron. Jasmine Siqueiros. Trevor Simmons. David Herbal Jr. Lauren Nicole LaCure. Virginia Lee Kist. Garrison Brooks. Shipman. Ty Kraus. Daisy Laborio. Marissa Knox. Tyler Lee Lavelle. Jathan James. Anthony Leo. Lana Lawler. Mason Jatan. Anthony Cruz Hampton. Zach Wolf. 
Alicia Danielle Toland. Nicholas Miller. Kevin Mackey. Lucia Molina. Carissa Smith. Rory Mitchell. Christopher Marquez. Crystal Uoa. Alyssa Monique Marshall. Bradley Mock. Price Robert Matthews. Alexis Munoz. Michelle McChesney. Michael Vila. Connor Shirley. Jessica Nilan. Jasmine McDaniels. Matthew Monarez. Roy McCoy the third. Haley Rochelle Nolan. Tessa Catherine Messer. Andres Villarreal. Yuri Saidian. Natasha Odo. Haley Paige McLitch. Tristan Moore. Nicholas Joshua Mel. Sarah O'Donnell. Darian Paige Miller. Garrett Morse. Ruben Angel Mendoza. Mallory Swartout. Tabitha Ray Mills. Garrett Skillings. Michael O'Connor Enns. Teresa Osterhout. Martha, Martha Esther Miller. Eden Music. Gunner Brett Magnuson. Tori Nichelle Wilson. Grant Navakuku. Cameron Price. Patricia Peralta. Jason Pryor. Larry Nichols. Macy Salas. Alexandra Victoria Perez. Kevin Ramirez. Logan Timothy Nickerson. Frank Peter Simonelli. Morgan Joan Renier. Diana Sandoval Bustamante. Devin D. Woodland. Brandon Rhodes. Taylor Ivana Rogers. Ryan Keith Rimba.
Andres Miguel Olivo. Brianna Nicole Sosa. Celia Michelle Romero. Daniel Roman. Jonathan O'Neill. Jesse Sear. Emily Grayson Roscoe. Taylor Ross. Tyler Sloniker. Ray Rosette. Samantha Lynn Rood. Azalina Doe Salasi. Alex Pfeffer. Ines Alejandro Ruiz. Jamie Russ. Nathan Jeffrey Ryan. John Pfeiffer. Sedona Sellers. Kara Lynn Russell. Isaac Salazar Delgado. Robert Stephen Price. Sebastian Taylor Noble. Jordan Pollard. Caitlin Woolery. Elizabeth Lillian Kanich. Ryan Lee Snowberger. Sultan Sayed. Tatiana Dahlia Saruji. Jacqueline Angelica Tayez. Kevin E. Fife. Javier Torres. Jeremy Speck. Donovan Fox III. Avery Sprague. Gregory Gibbs. Anthony Vincent Salvidio. Garrett Tucker. Riley M. Oliverson. family, friends, teachers, and most importantly, good afternoon to the class of 2014. <laughs> Before I begin to talk about our future and our past four years together, I would like to thank my family for being the most supportive people I know. I would also like to thank every single staff member who belongs to Cactus. Although I may not have had you as a teacher, you have made an impact on my life and those around me. <clears throat> and lastly, thank you to the people in this crowd who have taught me what friendship is. You'll, you've all made a difference and you'll never be forgotten. Today marks a very important day in all of our lives. We are moving on to bigger and better things, college, the army, or even straight into the workforce. But no matter what, we will never forget where it all started, in the cafeteria of Cactus High School, picking up our schedules. I know you all remember it, being here 20 minutes too early on the very first day of freshman year, just to ensure we knew where our classes were. Many of us struggled to find a place in this new environment, while others found themselves in sports and clubs. As sophomores, we knew what we were doing, and we were ready to express ourselves to anyone. As juniors, all we could think about was taking the place of the seniors, and now here we are. We're the big bad seniors. We're the ones the underclassmen look up to. Remember our sophomore year when we all drove up to Flagstaff to watch the 2012 football team compete in the state championship? What about when cheer took state? 
or when we all went over to Amanda King's house the last day of junior year to swim and create even more memories. This year, volleyball competed in the state championship. Softball is competing for a state title, and our girls' track team took runners up at state. We were on Fox News, we beat rival schools, we excelled in our classes, and now it's time to do even bigger and better things and make even more unforgettable memories. As we go on with our lives, we need to remember a few things. Remember that you will fail, you will endure heartbreak, and you will at times want to give up. But also remember, eventually you will succeed, you will meet your soulmate, and as long as you don't quit, you'll live the way you want to. You'll get the dream job, the dream house, and the dream family. One of my favorite quotes is from Thomas Edison. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Today starts a new chapter, and I know the class of 2014 will do great things. We will never be forgotten. One of my best memories at Cactus was doing our class chant. So after we move our tassels, please accompany me in saying it one last time. Now, class of 2014, will you please stand and join me in moving our tassel? Let's end this the right way. Ready? One, two, three. We're leading the unstoppable team. We're the class of 2014. Thank you.